Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Miss Naturally Mary here. I have another amazing crochet braid video for you all. Today I'm going to be using River Curls by Trendy Tresses. It comes in length 20 and I got mine in color 1B, but they do offer many different colors. This is what the texture looks like. It's a beautiful wavy texture and I got six packs, but I only ended up using three and a half packs, but you can absolutely get away with using three packs if you don't want your hair to be so big. Now, when I initially started thinking about this particular crochet braid install, I thought about maybe adding a headband or creating a headband wig because that's trending right now. So I went on Amazon and I bought several different items that I felt like could potentially work. This is actually my favorite type of headband to wear whenever I do a headband hairstyle. I also got three different options for weaving caps. This one's by Dream Lover, but all of them can be used in order to do a braidless install and attach the crochet hair to your hair, or you can actually use it to make a wig. Now I'm just gonna show you all the different options that I got, take them out of the packaging. This is the spandex wrap, and I thought this could work as the black hairband that generally comes in the front of a hairband wig, but then after taking it out of the package, I didn't feel like it was long enough, so I decided not to use that. And then this is the hairband that I usually use whenever I put a hairband in the front of any of my wigs. But it's also really good for any crochet braid hairstyles as well. Now on to the caps. If you're gonna do a braidless crochet braid install, it's really good to use a weaving cap because this helps to protect your hair, especially if you're doing a no cornrow install. So this is what I like to do. I like to prep my natural hair and then put this over my hair and then begin weaving the hair in. But y'all, I found these cornrow weaving caps already done for you it's already braided and this one actually came with a crochet needle these are so convenient i was like wow they come with combs on the inside they come with an adjustable strap this is a game changer it's so beginner friendly and for those who cannot do cornrows this is a phenomenal option for you you can put this over your hair and directly crochet the hair in or you can make a wig. So this is what the first one looks like. The second one came in this really cute mesh bag. I took it out and I was like, oh, this one is widely spaced. Both caps are made with a really breathable material. This one has an elastic band around the circumference and it only has two combs. Now I'm gonna put it on my mannequin head so that I can show you all what it looks like. This one I think is gonna be a good option for me. When crocheting hair in, you wanna make sure it's not crocheted in too close because you're gonna have so much hair on your head or so much hair on your wig. This is them side by side. As you can see, there is a difference in the spacing. So this is what my natural hair is looking like. I just have it prepped in four braids and that's really convenient for me. And y'all, I was so excited to try this cap. Y'all don't even understand. I started by putting on a wig cap first and then after putting a wig cap on, I tried the first one that had the elastic band feature around the circumference. I'm placing it on my head and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is different but this is very convenient and perfect if I wanted to crochet the hair on my head or create a wig. So I'm just showing you all what it looks like. Now the second one, this one is closely braided together and this one was actually one that had much more coverage. I would also consider this one to be big hair friendly compared to the other one. It also has this nice little groove around the ear. I'll be sure to leave links to both of these down in the description box, but determining which one is better for you is really just up to your preference. I actually decided to go with the first one. I love that it fit perfectly and that the braids were widely spaced. Now this time around, I decided to show you guys how to do a braidless crochet braid install by creating a crochet wig. This is actually my first time doing so, but it was quick and easy and I love that about the process. I'm going to show you all how to do that now. So I like that this hair was already pre-separated, but when I initially got started, I just crocheted that amount of hair into one section, but that was a mistake. You shouldn't actually use that much hair in a section because if you continue to crochet the hair in with these large chunks, you're going to have a whole lot of hair on your head and you don't want that. So after completing this section, I was sure to split the hair in half. I also tried to space each section by doing two finger width apart, and I did that horizontally as well as vertically. So when I move on to the next row, I'm gonna put two fingers above that last section and then continue to crochet. I'm also using a regular method in order to crochet the hair in. For most of the back section, I did do that, but I will show you guys how to do the invisible root method in a moment. Baby, 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 you driving me wild, you driving me so crazy. Got me acting out, got me trying to stay sober. Me trying to stay sober. Wanted to your love, and I'm out here hungover. You made me want to. 
wanna take you to London, Paris. Like some times we'll cherish. No comparing to you. All right, now we're moving on to the invisible root method. I'm gonna show you all one now. With this method, the only difference is that you're not gonna pull both strands through the loop. You're just going to pull one through the loop and then after doing that, you're just going to wrap it again. You're just gonna take the loop and you're gonna curve it around, pull the strand through, but you're only completing this process with the one strand that you initially pulled through. The other strand you're leaving alone and then you're just gonna tighten that little loop and then pull the hair over and it looks really seamless and you cannot see the knot at the top. I hope that made sense. It's very hard to explain. I didn't do any more of these in the back, but you all will see me do this method more when we get to the front. <laughs> all right now it's time to install the wig i'm gonna put it on and y'all it is a lot of hair it is so long and it's just overwhelming at this point but i'm gonna cut it down i'm gonna shape it and get it to look the way that i want so i'm gonna allow you all to watch that process now <laughs> so many tears you've been there for me i've been there for you look in the mirror and think this through something as perfect and pretty as you i never could leave you gotta believe but you think my heart's not there because it's been a while you keep telling me it's been a after cutting the hair, I wanted to add some shine and also define the curls. So I decided to add this Arganoa mousse to it and I coiled the hair around my fingers and it created a really nice spiral like Shirley Temple curl that is just so beautiful. I was so glad I tried that because it just brought the curls to life. They look gorgeous. Let me tell you something. Yes, I know we've been together for so long. Just go 
Y'all, this braidless crochet method is so official. I didn't have to do any cornrows. It was fast and easy. And using the curls to do sort of a side swept little action really helped to hide the wig cap in the front. It just looks so great. And I love the beautiful spiral curls I was able to achieve with the mousse. In a moment, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with the headband and then also do a style with a scarf that I think you guys would also appreciate. Be sure to check the description box. I'll have the links for this hair as well as all the products that I shared throughout this video. I look forward to your comments and feedback. I can't wait to hear what you all think about this hair and this look and just everything about this crochet braid install. It is so beautiful. I look forward to your comments and feedback. Don't forget to subscribe. Also like this video and I'll see you all in my next one. Keep watching guys. your mind I can tell by the look in your eyes you're not happy with the man you're standing by yeah I've been watching you and him and him and her with his wandering eyes he's not worth your time so come to me I got what you need just know I'll make you my only one, girl. I'll hold you close, never let go. I'll be your friend, do all I can. I whisper, I love you. I'll hold your hand. I'll take care of you. I'll make you smile. my path yeah i can give you that good love and that will last so place the other mister in your bed